Hello, this is Alan with Satachi, here to offer some more troubleshooting advice for our Bluetooth Smart Trigger. A small number of users are experiencing an error where they are not able to repair their receiver to the Smart Trigger app in the iPhone. Uh, this is usually caused by the Bluetooth signal dropping or uh, more rarely just by exiting the app uh, to your home screen. So this error is completely unintentional. We have an update for the app in the works that will release at the end of March or early April that uh, should alleviate this and any other errors that users are experiencing. In this video, I will show you how to reproduce the error and also uh, a workaround that will enable you to use the app to its full capacity, uh, but it just shows how to mitigate the effect that this error has. So. First, uh, this is a smart trigger receiver that's fresh out of the box. So uh, first I will pair the smart trigger to the phone, then I will reproduce the error, then I'll show you the workaround. So first let's get the smart trigger paired. Uh, in this, Let's open the smart trigger app here. It will ask us to turn Bluetooth on. So we'll go to the settings and turn Bluetooth on. Then if we go back to the smart trigger app, uh, this icon that it displays here, when it's gray, it means that the, the Smart Trigger app is not connected to anything. When it's red, it means it's connected to the receiver. So let's touch scan, and then this is the Bluetooth scan menu, and uh, to start scanning, we'll touch the button in the lower left here. And then to put the Smart Trigger receiver in pairing mode, we just hold it, hold the button on top of the receiver for about four seconds, and then the app will ask you if you would like to pair uh, the receiver to the phone. So just touch pair here. And also very important uh, to complete the pairing process you need to touch smart trigger in this scan menu. So just touch it here. And uh, now the smart trigger is paired working at 100%. If I touch this button you can see by the status light on the receiver that it's receiving a signal and it's working as intended. However, uh, so now I'll uh, show you how to reproduce that error so that I can show you the workaround after that. So if the Bluetooth signal drops, let's say I turn, I exit the app, I'm doing other things on my phone, and I turn Bluetooth off and then on again, and I go back to the Smart Trigger app. It shows that it's connected, but if I press this button, you can see the signal light doesn't light up. So uh, that's completely unintended. It should be able to reconnect, or you should be able to go back to the scan menu and then just select it and have it start working, but it doesn't. So the workaround for this is actually very easy. All you have to do, touch the home button once to go back to your iPhone home screen, and then uh, double tap the home button to bring up the system tray. This system tray displays all of the apps that your phone is currently running in the background. So to quit out of apps uh, in, from the system tray, just press and hold the app you want to quit. In this case, we want to quit the Smart Trigger app so we can reopen it and then just touch this red minus button. And then we can go back into the Smart Trigger app here, and it correctly displays that nothing is connected. So if we go back to the scan menu, the Smart Trigger is still there because we did the whole pairing process. All you have to do is just press this button on top of the receiver once. You'll notice the little progress, progress wheel there, and then you can select the Smart Trigger again. And then just by pressing it, you can see the status light is lighting up. Uh, it's working. It's back to full capacity. The, the cause of that error was the Bluetooth signal dropping. And the workaround is to quit out of the app via the system tray and then reopen the app and touch this button on top and then uh, then select it and it works uh, fine now. So you shouldn't have to quit out of the app, but that's the error. That's how the workaround works. Uh, the uh, update for this app is coming out uh, towards the end of the month and will alleviate this and any other issues that users are experiencing. So uh, I'll do the workaround process one more time uh, just so you can see how, uh, how simple the workaround is. So to reproduce the error, let's again turn Bluetooth off and on. So Bluetooth is off, Bluetooth is on. If I go back into the Smart Trigger app, you can see that it's not working. So all I have to do to uh, repair the receiver to the phone is touch this home screen, double click home, press and hold the smart trigger in the system tray, 
and then press that red minus button to quit the app. Reopen the app. Go to the scan menu and then touch the button on top. And you'll see that progress wheel there. And all you have to do is touch it and you're back to 100%. So uh, we really apologize for any inconveniences this may have caused any of you. Uh, we hope that this video helped you alleviate the problem and we really appreciate your patience while we get that app update out. Uh, if you have any further questions uh, about the Smart Trigger or any other Satachi products, you can contact us at support at satachi.com or visit our website at www.satachi.net or contact us on Facebook at facebook.com slash satachi. Thanks for watching.